G'day, Sholly. Happy hey, Valentine's Dad. Day, mate. Sorry, what was that, mate? Happy Valentine's Day. Did you? Is there hey, anything mate. special you've done today for any Valentine in particular? Uh, no, I spent the morning with uh, with my teammates. That was really nice. Um, but unfortunately, no, nah, no, uh, no Valentine's Day gifts or, or roses or anything like that, mate. But uh, we'll move on. Nixie, you'll, you'll probably want to accept a rose or two from Nixie to get back in this team at the start of the season, mate. Does, um, <laughs> the ray, does, a rose from Nixie would be nice, actually. Yeah, that'd be all right. Does Geordie Dawson coming over make things a little trickier for you in terms of which spot you try and occupy? Oh, of course. Like with with um, with Dorso coming over, he's, a, he's obviously a, a really great player, and um, you know it makes things interesting in terms of you know uh, competition for spots, and um, you know that's a good thing. I think uh, you know it, it it's, I suppose holds everyone accountable and sort of makes everyone want to you know push that that little bit harder, I guess. And um, you know that's not it's not just uh, across the the midfield spots, but there's there's spots up for grabs everywhere. So. Um, and I think the competition across the board is, is really high at the moment. So um, in terms of that, uh, now we're in a in a really good space, and it'll be interesting to see how uh, how things pan out. Do you have any update on Cedo, mate? It looks like he's going to miss a, a, at least the first couple of rounds, you'd think. So does that open the door for you as well to slot in on the wing that he occupied? Yeah, look, he got he got a, a knock pre Christmas, which I'm I'm sure you guys are, are over now. But um, he sort of he's just. You know, coming back now, I think he's, he's back running. Um, so he's obviously in great hands with our, with our physios and, and docs and whatnot. And, um, you know, they're taking a, a precautious uh, approach, I guess. And, um, you know, he'll, he'll be back in due time, of course. But, um, yeah, yeah, of course, it, uh, you know, being in a, in a similar position, um, you know, things may fall, you know, a certain way. And, um, you know, whichever, whichever way that happens, um, you know, I suppose it's out of your control and you, I suppose, yeah, you just got to, you just got to try and be that one to, to put your hand up, I guess. But um, yeah, as I said before, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. What's in your control, mate? 19 games last year, you had a really brilliant patch in the middle of the season. And then whether it was a little fatigue or the team started just to struggle a touch towards the back end, you, you were left out for a couple of games. So how do you reflect on that year and what have you been doing in this preseason to better yourself? Yeah, look, last year obviously was uh, was I suppose a great year in terms of um, experience personally, and, and also getting some continuity with um, you know with I suppose the team that we had, and um, you know it was it was I suppose awesome to to be able to be a part of that, and um, yeah, as you said, I suppose 19 games, I was I was really fortunate in terms of opportunity, and um, got a really good look at um, you know I suppose the the standard of AFL and what's required, and. Um, you know, whilst there were, there were some periods where, um, you know, there, there's, there's learning curves and whatnot, that's, I suppose, part of it. But, um, you know, it was also, it was really enjoyable to, you know, be a part of, um, I suppose, that day-to-day uh, grind, if you like, of, of um, AFL football. And, um, you know, hopefully hopefully I can take those learnings and, 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 uh, and bring them into this year. And uh, I suppose in terms of what I've, what I've tried to, to work on this off, of pre-season, I guess, um, it, it's sort of been more around, um, I suppose, my sharpness around, around the contest. I really wanted to improve on that. And, um, you know, that's just something that I'll continue to chip away at. And, um, and you know, also didn't want to lose sight of, of um, you know, what I, what I think my strengths are, which is my, my run and, and ball use. So, um, yeah, just continuing to work on those things as well without um, losing sight of, you know, yeah. either, either things, I guess. Lastly from me, mate, you, you talked about, your learnings from last year, what were some of the things that you learned? I mean, you, you continue to grow and develop, but is there a couple of things where you thought, okay, I'm, I'm better now for having experienced a certain situation? Yeah, I think, uh, well, I suppose, obviously, firstly, getting a, a consistent taste of it um, last year with, you know, the, I suppose the, the opportunity that I got and, um, you know, being able to bounce back from, from you know, certain games where, of course, you, um, you may not, you know, play the, the way that you would have liked and, and being able to, I suppose, um, you know, come back from that and, and sort of, you know, of course, because it's, it's, it's challenging, um, you know, those times mentally as, uh, just as much as, as physically. So um, being able to bounce, from, bounce back from that and, um, and, and you know, continue to, to just come back to, um, you know, what you know and, and what, you, what you want to continue to work on and, and not lose sight of the fact that, um, you know, you want to keep progressing. So... I think those were those were a couple of things that I learned 
um, last year that I'm certainly trying to, uh, I suppose, implement this year. Beauty. Thank you, mate. No problem. Uh, Mike at Channel 9. Hey, Lockie. Um, mate, uh, was hoping you might be able to just give us a bit of an insight as to the intensity of the preseason at the moment, what it's like day to day. Um, yeah, just sort of take... Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, it's, it's, it's obviously it's, it's been like uh, any other preseason in the in the fact that it's very hard and um, you know the, the the training and whatnot um, is you know quite intense. Of course, with um, with there being a new year, obviously um, you know spots are up for grabs and and you know I suppose competition is high for for, for those spots. So you know you, you're going out every session trying to put your best foot forward and. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, everyone's, everyone's been doing that and it's sort of brought the, the standard up even more, I think, um, compared to, to previous pre-seasons, I guess. And, of course, the heat, um, you know, it's been quite hot here for a number of weeks now, so the heat makes it a bit harder as well to, um, you know, try and, you know, get up and, and continue to, to train at that standard. So uh, it has been quite intense, but it's also been really enjoyable and, um, you know, the club's, I suppose, oh, well, I feel like the club's in a great place and, um, you know, it's, a, it's certainly a great place to come to as well. And like for you personally as well, how has your pre-season been more intense or different to where it was last year? Because look, it was widely reported that you had a cracker off season last year and it showed in your performances early. So what's different this year? And yeah. Yep. I think uh, I sort of said it before, just continuing to, to work on the, the things that, I suppose I've identified that I do want to, I suppose, try and develop a little bit more, but but also at the same time trying to to, to continue to sharpen the, the things that I've, I, I, I sort of, yeah, consider my strengths. Um, I said them before, obviously, but, you know, trying to trying to work on, on you know, you can, you can get caught up in, in working on a lot of your, I suppose, weaknesses, if you like, but, um, and that's great, but you also, you, you do need to remember what you're good at too and, 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 you know, try to continue to, to develop them just as much. So, um, you know, coming into trainings or training sessions, I should, should say, with, with clear focuses um, in, in what I want to get out of the session uh, sort of has been something that I've, um, you know, tried to, to do this this uh, pre-season as opposed to last year where I was sort of doing a lot of a lot of everything, I guess. And, um, yeah, coming in this year with, with clearer focuses of, I suppose, what I want to get out of the session um, both during and post as well, if I wanted to work on something. So um, that's sort of something that I've tried to, to implement. And is this, are these sort of directions from Nixie? What, what's Nixie told you sort of at the back end of last year and then heading into here? What does he want out of you this year? Yeah, I think uh, that, that was that was definitely a, a conversation that I had um, with with, uh, with Nixie and, and a number of a number of coaches as well, VB included. Um, you know, just trying to, I suppose. Uh, I suppose zero in on, on the things that I wanted to to, to work on um, during a session, and, and making sure that I'm doing that and not, I suppose, overdoing the the, the things that um, that I want to do or, or doing extra, I suppose, uh, stuff that wasn't you know planned pre pre session, um, and you know identifying that once I've worked on these things, then it's it's time to to, to get off and recover. Um, that's that's been one thing, and then um, this year it's just it's just um continuing to to i suppose nail my role um which is out yeah out there on the wing and um you know trying to you know put my best foot forward in, in terms of that but then also uh with my ball use as well so just being um just being clean you know clean takes um and, and just being clear in, in decision making as well i think that's something that um that hopefully i can you know try and continue continue to improve um and then um my contest as well which is something that i'll that, or that I that I always try and you know better and, and improve on. And just lastly, for me, um, specifically when you do look forward to this year, um, benchmarks and goals are there. Sort of any benchmarks per game that you want to hit, certain stats, certain things that you know when the season is done, you want to look back and say, "Yep, I, I tick those boxes." Uh, for me personally, I've, I've never been. I suppose really big on, on the I suppose individual goals and I think oh, I don't know that might sound a bit a bit uh, I suppose cringe or cliche but um, I sp it's it's never been something that I've tried to focus on uh, I think um, a big thing for me I, I really like 
I, I really enjoy, I suppose, looking at the, the process and, and um, I suppose, you know, trying to do everything that I can possibly to get myself up for, for a game, um, both physically and mentally. So, you know, going into games, knowing that, um, you know, I've done everything possible to, to you know, play my role, uh, you know, on game day and, and you know, contribute, um, you know, offensively and, and, you know, bring my, I suppose, my, my weapons or things that I'm good at and then um, also, yeah, nailing my role. So I think it's, it's more along the lines of that, you know, for me, I think having a clear process during the week uh, is a big one um, and trying to, yeah, I suppose, zero in on those things, um, you know, per training session uh, that I was, that I, that I sort of touched on before, um, so that I can, you know, go into games knowing that I've, I've you know, done these things and, and go in with, with full confidence, I guess. Um, thanks Lucky. That's it for me, mate. No worries. Uh, Simeon at the advertiser. Hey Lucky. I'm um, just wondering, I guess, what is a fit Matt Krause bring to some of the, more the midfielders, but also to some of the, um, younger, younger guys in the team? Was that Matt Crouch? Sorry, did yeah. you say? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Matt, he's, he's, he's been back for uh, uh, maybe a month or so now in, in full training, that is. Um, and of course, uh, yeah, Crouch is a, a super player who's, you know, been around a long time and, and obviously, um, you know, had been around in, in, you know, those years where the, the Crows were sort of pushing for a, a premiership. And, um, you know, I suppose he, he knows, you know, what it takes to, to get to that, that, uh, you know, the, you know, finals and the like, and he's experienced it all. So I think he he brings obviously a lot of experience along along with you know, of course, the the things that he's so good at, which is his his ball win, ball winning ability and and uh, his his on ground leadership as well. And um, you know, he's he obviously just makes everyone walk a, a little bit taller as well with the I suppose the experience that he's got. And um, you know, you, you you just know what you're going to get from him too. So um, yeah, no, it's it's obviously it's going to be great to have him back as well. And um, yeah, again, that, that makes it interesting in terms of spots and whatnot for, for the team. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's been back for a while now and he's, he's looking really good. Yeah. What have you made of some of the new draftees that have come in? I, I guess there's a lot of, you know, excitement around Josh Rochelle, but it looks like Jake Saligo's um, having a pretty good preseason. He seems to be yeah, in, in the blue side today in match sim. Yeah, yeah. Jake, so it, well, all the draftees have settled in really well and, um, you know, you know, all, all bring different things, of course, and um, you know, you, you, you threw up those names, but yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to put all those boys in there because um, they've certainly shown things that, um, or I suppose, shown why they they were picked up, of course. So um, you know, all the boys have have settled in, settled in really nicely. Um, you know, of course, you speak about um, Joshy, but yeah, Jakey, he's um, he's doing really well as well. So. Uh, yeah, as you said, he's been in the blue side, but he's been training really well. So, um, yeah, and um, looks the goods, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, and again, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how they they settle in and and um, you know when they when they get their shot. But uh, you know when the, when they do, I'm sure they'll they'll all do very well. So internal trial on Friday. When do you find out? I guess who's on which team? Well, yeah, what um what that what does that kind of process look like? Yeah, so we haven't we haven't found out yet. Uh, I. I assume we'd find out, um, say, well, obviously before Friday, but um, uh, potentially on Thursday or something like that. But I, I'm not sure if the coaches have had a meeting around that yet, but um, I'm sure they'll do that this week and, and sort that out. So um, obviously, we, yeah, we'll find out in, in, in due time, I guess. Do you feel like the side, oh, I guess maybe the, let's say that, you know, the senior side is probably the best. Is a bit more settled, is quite settled at the moment? Or, yeah, do you, do you feel like the coaches have an idea of what their yeah, um, best 18, 22 is? Uh, look, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, you know, it's obviously really early, so um, you don't really get too much of an idea, um, you know, up until, you know, you start to play games. So, um, as I said before, that there's a lot of, a lot of heat for, for positions and whatnot, so... Um, I don't think anything's set in stone, that's for sure. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, how how that sort of turns out. But um, in terms of, you know, being settled, I, I, I yeah, honestly think that uh, there's a lot of spots up for grabs, that's for sure. So I wouldn't say that it's quite settled just yet. Well, final question from me, I guess, we, you know, we've seen your ability, your running ability. How have you found it under Virgil? I guess, um, yeah, the stuff that he's had in store for you. 
Yeah, Berjo has been great. He's obviously, um, you know, he came with a, a wealth of knowledge, um, you know, being not just from Melbourne, but spent a long time at, at Port Adelaide and then obviously overseas too with some, um, well, in the APL with Arsenal. So uh, he's, he's certainly rubbed shoulders with uh, some pretty some pretty impressive athletes. And, um, you know, him coming over, it's, it's just, I suppose it's only enhanced the, the development of, of us boys. And, um, yeah, he, he's, been, he's been great for us in terms of, um, you know, knowing when to push us and, 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 and test the boundaries, that's for sure. So, uh, no, he's been, he's been great. And, um, yeah, I suppose certainly helped me as well in terms of, um, you know, trying to, trying to push myself in, uh, in those, you know, I suppose in the, in the running and whatnot and, and trying to improve, I suppose, on, on, on that running ability, uh, I guess. But, um, no, he's been, he's been great for the whole group and, um, yeah, he's settled in, settled in really well too. Beauty, that's all for me. I'll let you get back to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> Jace at 10, you got any questions for Charlotte? Yeah, get, g'day, Lockie. Um, yeah. I just wanted to know, with, uh, you know, the internal trial coming up Friday, next week you obviously fly in the state for a practice match. How crucial are these couple of games coming up for you to lock down your spot? Yeah, of course. Uh, um, obviously, it's, I suppose, the first major hit out for, for us uh, this year. So, um, yeah, of course, it's uh, with, with, you know, competition for spots and, and whatnot, it's obviously a... Uh, a big day for, for everyone, um, you know, to, to try and put their, their best foot forward. And, um, you know, I suppose going into that, you know, you just got to, um, you know, come in with the, you know, with a great attitude and, and, you know, just give it your all and, and see how that goes. But um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, uh, or it's really exciting, obviously, um, you know, you start to, you start to get a bit tired of, of just training all the time. So when games roll around, you're, you're pretty keen to get stuck in. So um, yeah, no, I'm obviously really excited for Friday and, um, you know, I'm sure all the boys are the same as well. So, um, no, I'm really keen to, to get into that. There's uh, a few boys vying for that wingman spot. Do you think you're one of the two best at the club at the moment? Where do you sort of rate yourself in the pecking order? Oh, look, it's uh, obviously in terms of, um, you know, pecking order and whatnot, that's, uh, that's up for, the I suppose, the coaches to decide. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, when you look at it uh, from an individual point of view, it's just more about, um, you know, whichever whichever side you find yourself in, it's just more about, you know, going about your business and and uh, and making sure that um, no matter, no matter, I suppose, what happens, um, you know, you just put your best foot forward. Because, um, you know, obviously that's, uh, that's, I suppose, out of your control in some ways um, up until Friday. So, um, yeah, you suppose, I suppose you just got to, you got to get back to, you know, what, what you want to bring and, um, and, you know, you know, play, play footy and, and play to your strengths. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, individually it's, it's more so just about controlling what you can control, I guess. Um, I reckon you were probably one of the last players to leave the track today. Are you working harder than you have ever before to try and, like you said, find some consistency and consolidate your spot? Uh, yeah, de well, definitely. Um, you know, as I said earlier, I've, got these, uh, I suppose, focuses going into, into training as to what I want, you know, during the session and, and post-session. So um, in terms of, you know, working harder, uh, I'd say it'd probably be on par with, with previous pre-seasons. But um, I think I'm, I'm well, I'm, hopefully I am working a, a little bit um, smarter as well in terms of, um, you know, trying to, um, I suppose, stay consistent with, with, with what I want to, to get out of a session. So... Um, you know whether whether that makes me the last leave the track or not. Um, it's it's not uh, it's not something that I'm too worried about. But um, just making sure that I'm ticking everything off that I want to uh, you know get done um, and you know go into sessions um, really clear on what I want to get out of them and, and and just do that. So to be honest though, when you see, um, I think Riley O'Brien said the other day that this is the culturally the most exciting and, and best he's ever seen the club. You're going into your fourth season now. How do you rate this young side coming through and, and the levels they're sort of bringing it and, and taking it to at the moment? Yeah, it's obviously um, really exciting. Um, you know, it's sort of, you know, it's obviously still, uh, it's still quite a new, um, I suppose, and fresh group in terms of, you know, age demographic. But, um, you know, the young core, we've, we've sort of, you know, sort of got together, you know, 25 to, to 50 games or, or, or more. Now, so it's uh, it's it's starting to get really exciting, and um, you know we're certainly well, we, we certainly feel like we're we're going in the right direction with with that stuff. You know, both 
on field um, and, and cultural, culturally off field as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to be at the moment, um, you know, in terms of, um, you know, uh, getting around the boys and, and, and whatnot. It's, uh, it's, certainly, it's certainly in a great place. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really enjoying and, and exciting at the moment, definitely. Last one for me, mate. Your Bengals or your a Rams fan? I actually, don't, oh well, <laughs> I, I suppose I actually don't follow the NFL to be honest. Um, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, I have been keeping up a little bit with what's happened today, not too much. Um, I know that uh, OBJ has gone down, which isn't great, but <laughs> besides that, I know nothing, mate. To be honest. Thank you, mate. Cheers. No worries. Righty, thanks, guys. Everyone okay with that? Hey, Reese, Lucky, sorry, can I just ask one more just about yeah. um, a fellow um, backman and, and running player that we haven't seen for a while, Junior? Do you think yeah. he will be ready to play in these practice games and, and will he be close to his best, do you think? Or, I mean, he's missed two years, it's tough for him. Where do you see him at? Yeah, June, June's been, uh, he's been back for, in terms of full training, I think he's been, he's been back for a long time now. Um, and, you know, obviously... Uh, we've all we've all seen what what he can do, um, you know, out there. So there's certainly no, um, I suppose, no doubt that he'll he'll get back to his best. And uh, I think he, uh, yeah, he'd be he'd be really keen, I'm sure, to, to to get back out there and and run around again. And obviously, um, you know, in terms of you know games and and whatnot, uh, I'm not sure what that looks like for him personally in terms of ma- um, with management or, or I'm not sure. Um, but in terms of training, he's, he's been back for, for a long time. And, um, you know, it's it's really exciting to, to I suppose, get him back out there and, and, you know, watch him, I suppose, go about his business because, yeah, he's a, he's a super player and um, and he's worked really hard to, to get back to where he is too. So, you know, everyone would, would love to, to see him, you know, get back to that level, I guess. Beauty. Thanks, mate. No worries. Hey, Lockie, mate, it's just Mike from Nine again. I've got yeah. one last question for you. Uh, yeah, no Um Mate, we know all around the league, all sorts of professional athletes have different little quirks, superstitions, routines, things that they do where they're looking into the universe and into the stars to sort of help them get a bit better beyond what happens on the field. What's yours? Do you have one? Uh, and yeah, can you tell us about it? I actually, um, I'm not too superstitious now. I, uh, I used to be really bad. So I think, um, and that, that was a few years ago, I used to be really bad. It got to a stage where I was doing, I was doing some things in my prep where I'm just like, well, there's just no way this is affecting the way I'm playing. Um, so I sort of, I went the opposite way and tried to try to change things up by not doing or not worrying about what I'm doing pre-game. Uh, the only one, I have, a, I have a pair of undies that I, I usually like to throw on, but that's about it. Um, if, they're, if, they're, if they happen to be in the wash the night before, then I, I don't stress too much about it though.